Well, we've got one loyal, out of luck Trump supporter. He got the surprise of his life this past weekend. He's 24 year old single dad. He's Shane Bouvet. He worked an overnight shift to support his children, and he campaigned for President Trump during the campaign. This while fighting an expensive custody battle, and he's also taking care of a father suffering from cancer. His hard work did not go unnoticed. President Trump personally invited him to attend his inauguration, but that's not all. The man himself, Shane Bouvet, he's here to tell us the rest. Hey, Shane. Wow, what a guy you are, Shane. Besides <laughs> inviting you, um, hi, how are you? Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, President thanks Trump so personally met with you as well. Can you tell us how that came about? Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, actually, I was with some friends and we were going over um, to New York City. I always wanted to visit Trump Tower. It's just such a beautiful place after experiencing it. And uh, we were on our way back, and I got a call from one of Trump's staff members, and they called me and said. Hey, you know, um, are you Shane Bouvet? I was like, yeah. And they said, uh, well, um, Donald Trump read the Washington Post and uh, was inspired by it, and he'd like to, to talk to you. Well, I started stuttering because I'm like, oh, Donald Trump, my hero. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I was just so blessed with that. And um, she goes, you know, I'm going to do something better for you. I'm going to get you some VIP tickets, and uh, Trump would like to have you at the welcome ceremony. And uh, it just was great. I uh, Wow, I just can't believe how it happened. I'm just, I just feel so blessed and honored even to be on here. I feel, so wait, wow. He gave you <laughs> so a check? You. He gave you a $10,000 check? Yeah, yeah. He ended up, um, well, after I met him, uh, it was just, uh, so I started walking in the white tent, and uh, they all just all started clapping, and I, I felt God's presence in there. I really did. And, uh, you know, and Donald Trump is the most genuine, humble, caring person I've ever met in my life, and I owe everything to him. You know, he did a lot for my dad, who's battling cancer, and uh, I don't ever know how to repay him. But uh, what did he do for your dad? Uh, he he uh, turned around and uh, said, "Take care of him," and mm -hmm. um, and then he, he he leaned over and said, "Write him a check for ten thousand dollars." And uh, wow, I can't, I just can't thank him enough. Um, wow. Shane, you know, <laughs> so okay. So besides the donation from President Trump, I, is it true that the clothes you wore to the inaugural ball were also donated to you? Uh, actually, uh, I had a teacher step in, and uh, he uh, ended up buying me the suit. Uh, the shoes were uh, donated, um, and uh, I had a whole community come together to make this possible. So, you know, it's just it's just great to have uh, a whole community come together. And because uh, I never really owned a a really nice suit, uh, mostly I get my suits from Goodwill and things like that. So I was just uh, I never so I got invited to the inaugural ball by Dr. Lisa Christine who's an actress and done a lot of motivational speaking. And uh, she goes, Shane, through your social media, I want to invite you to the inaugural ball. And when I told a teacher that, um, he goes, Shane, how are you going to get a really nice suit, a black suit? It's a black, su uh, black suit event and a black tie. I said, well, I never owned one. I said, well, I can probably get one at Goodwill. And he goes, no, Shane. He goes, you need to, you need to go to Men's Warehouse and get you a nice suit. And that's what he did. Wow. You know, I, uh, wow, I'm just blessed. Hey, Shane, so. so what a story you are. It's an incredible story. And, you know, we are so sorry that your father is suffering. And we're hearing oh, that you, you created a GoFundMe page to help with his treatment costs. How's that going? Yeah. Uh, it, it's going great. You know, if anything, it's about uh, it's about prayers. You know, it, it's not about the money to me. It's about uh, you know just praying for my dad. That's that's what means the most to me. Um, you know, if people want to donate, uh, they can. But you know, I, I just want to you know thank for everyone who's praying for my dad. Uh, you know, I'm just blessed with that. And to me, that means the world to me and to him. It just makes him fight extra extra. You know, he's just he's just a fighter. He worked hard his whole entire life. He's a veteran. And uh, dad, if you're watching right now, thank you for everything you've done for me in my life. So. Hey, Shane, hero, Shane so. did, did the president speak with your father? Uh, yeah, yes, he did. Um, he, he spoke with my dad, and, uh, uh, wow, my dad was just so happy. He gave him that extra fight, you know, during this, during this battle, you know. So, like I said, when I met Donald Trump, I, I, I felt God's presence in that tent. I really did. Hey, so. Shane, will you come back on the show? We love having you. We really want to hear about thank your you so story. Much. You're really an inspiring man, and, and we just thank you so much for coming on the show. And, thank and God you so bless much. you, I and God bless to your father, okay? You'll be in our thoughts, oh, and so will your father. Thanks again. Well, thank you so much.